Welcome back, YouTube. So I was driving <laughs> and uh, pressing the brakes, and my brakes wasn't properly engaging properly. So obviously, something's wrong with the brakes. So I went to go check, and I realized that my brakes are out of adjustment. Okay. So when you step on your brakes, and your brake pads are good, and you have See, my brake pads are good, but they weren't touching. So I thought I'd make a quick video and show that I'm gonna adjust my brakes. Um, so something like this can, you know, uh, keep you from crash having an accident. If you hit the brakes and you, you know, you got no brakes, um, it's probably out of adjustment. If you adjust them and it keeps happening, then that means your slack adjusters are wearing out. So all right. It's time for slack adjusters. So for all the rookies and non-mechanics out there, like. Just explain to them real quick how the well, brakes work. I'm not work. a mechanic either. I'm a parts changer, but you don't need to be a mechanic to take care of your truck. You know what I mean? You know. You, you, you could, I'm a parts changer and I do just fine. Just dumb it down for the audience real quick. How, how do the brakes actually work? When you step on the pedal, it's not like a normal car. So what, what exactly is going on right here? So there's no hydraulic fluid. It's all air. You got your brake chamber right here. And then you got your slack adjuster right here. So this is supposed to be self-adjusting, okay? So I shouldn't have to manually adjust my brakes. When that happens, if it goes out of adjustment, that means this is going bad. So this is going bad, it's getting too much play, and it's time to change it. So if that's happening to you, or you're adjusting your brakes, and then like every other trip, you gotta keep adjusting them, you can adjust it to buy you time, but you're gonna have to change the slack adjuster out. And if it's leaking, then you have to change your brake chamber out. Okay, so we're, right now I already turned it. So we're gonna turn it all the way. We're gonna turn it all the way to its touching. Get on here. Let's see if I can get in there. Which I already did already, no touching. Then we're gonna do three half turns. Three half turns. We'll start here. Three half turns. Counterclockwise. Let's not take a look. There should be a small, small little gap, which there is. Now we're gonna do the other side. Before you do anything, just get the let the viewers see what's going on. So basically, same same thing you did over there is what you're gonna do over here. So we're gonna put it tight, which is already tight. This side didn't need that much of adjusting. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing. Oh, hold on. Get it over here. And do half a turn. Be a small little gap. Now I'm gonna release my brakes and make sure that this gap here, um, if you can zoom in here, this gap should open so release them. So I'm gonna go release the brakes now and see. Gap. Slight gap. Right, that's what we need. Slight gap. Just enough to release them. We don't want them rubbing when we're driving because this will heat up and it'll catch fire. We don't want, we don't want that. All right. Is there anything that the viewers can do? Let's pretend because you, I see you have a lot of tools on the truck. Oh, uh, you always got to carry tools. If you're an owner operator or a company driver um, that works for an owner operator, um, I recommend you carry tools, man. This little things like this can save you a lot of money, an accident, a lot of, you know. Um, I, I got these, 
adjusted last year at the TA, they charged me $175 for two minutes of work. <laughs> you know, so um, with fuel prices rising, um, everything's going up but our pay. So uh, we have to stay strong and yeah, we, we have to help each other out. If, if not, like, I don't know what's gonna happen, you know? And I, I love this industry. I have a true passion for trucking and um, any, any little videos I can do to help out, you know, um, I will, I'll, I'll do it. Um, but yeah, this is a quick video of adjusting your brakes that goes for any semi truck, not just a Western Star. So, um, you know, if you got any questions, please like, share, subscribe, uh, comment down below. If you have any um, ideas of what to bring to the channel, just comment down below. All right.